Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at uh, some Fusion Cup practice that I did. Uh, slightly modified team replaed Alola Ninetales with Wigglytuff. Um, I might replace Bronzon and Alola Marowak but we'll see. I have to think about what my team is necessarily weak to. Uh, I kind of like the idea of having Charizard. Uh, but maybe I'll give it a shot. Let me know in the comment section below if I should give Charizard a shot. So I do have Shift Tree, so it's obviously an extremely favorable matchup for me. And here comes a little Sand Slash. Uh, so I'm going to switch out into Wish Cash, um, which should be pretty favorable for me. And goes for the Ice Punch. I do Piggyback 2.0, denying the Powder Snow there. Uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna look to after this uh, ice punch comes through. I'm not gonna farm down all the way just because I'm gonna get hit by another ice punch. So I'm just gonna farm a little bit here. I probably get it like one or two more, uh, but I didn't want to risk the CMP tie. So let's see what comes in next. Here comes Wish Cash. So I'm just looking to do the mud bombs. And. Let's see, lagging a little bit there, a little bit more, um, but I'm able to get to another mud bomb, which puts me in a very good situation. And I'm looking to land another one, so nice swap out into Altaria, but unfortunately I have a hard counter, uh, and I'm just going to be able to, uh, I should have shielded there, I don't know why I didn't shield there. Uh, I should be able to just charm down. Even the wish cash afterwards. Yeah, I definitely will be able to. So I'm going to be able to put up a shield here. Even if he does back to back, as long as I can get it through. And I'm able to get a charm through. And I was able to land that last charm. So uh, even if this doesn't, does KO, or as long as it doesn't KO, it's going to it's gonna take out the wish cash. So able to to win that one. But that Altaria switching was the, was the right play. Um, to avoid any more damage and conserve as much uh, energy and health on that wish catch as possible. So very advanced play there. So thinking about my team and my composition. And what do I do here? Let's find out in a moment. So I'm going to go knocked out Wigglytuff. Uh, or am I going to change these? I'm going to change it to Bronzon. For some reason, what would I think? Because of Alone Sand Slash, I guess. Uh, so, positive matchup for me. Uh, I'm in a pretty decent situation. Uh, I know that I can hit these two wing attacks, or two sky attacks, before this Wigglytuff is able to get to a charge move. And what I'm hoping to do here is to tank the charge move uh, with Bronze on. Because I know one more charm, and then the Ice Beam comes out. And uh, the rush to get the Ice Beam off is going to allow me to absorb it. And then here comes Wish Cash. We're a little bit lagged. Um, yeah, there's a little like, awkward lag in this, in this match. And let's see. Building up. And I'm not going to shield because I can't survive this. And I'm not able to get it off. So, uh, But I'm in a pretty good situation right now. This uh, this Wish Cash uh, fires off the Mud Bomb right away. So I'm, I'm going to be able to easily tank this through the double resist. And then even if another one comes through, uh, I'm going to be able to tank it as well. And then I'm going to have a decent amount of energy available to me. And I'm going to fire off the wing attack right away to take out this Wigglytuff. So I wasn't necessarily able to use those uh, farming effectively. But I do switch out into uh, Wish Cash. I'm in a pretty good situation right now. I have a decent amount of energy on, on Knocked Owl. So I'm going to go for the Blizzard to burn this last shield. And then um, he ends up not shielding, thinking that I'm going to bait, and then I'm going to throw the blizzard. So it's a 50-50 call on his part. Uh, if I if his win condition is that 
if I do go for the Mud Bomb and it doesn't go through, then he's probably going to end up winning. Uh, next up, we're going against uh, Matty F. Baby. So I lead. Uh, and this is a very bad situation. This is where I missed a little Nine Tails because I definitely would have switched into a little Nine Tails in this situation. And he comes in with Shift Tree. And uh, man, I'm like in a terrible situation right now. Like, this alone Santosh is going to wall me regardless. So I do go for the uh, Mud Bomb bait. And and I'm like, please let me get off this blizzard. And we see MP tie to the blizzard. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. So bad. Um, yeah. So if I would have won that CMP tie, I would be in like a decent position. Then I make another huge mistake here. Uh, cl clearly, he's over farming here. I could have, for example, hit the mud bomb, wait for the clock to come up, and then switched. Uh, and then that would have allowed me to preserve. Uh, my uh, and I'm just gonna go for yeah, and I'm I'm pretty much screwed in this situation. So <laughs> there's not there's not really any way for me to win this win this matchup. Um, ice punches me, and. Uh, I'm not able to get off that ice beam. Not that it would did very much anyway, so uh, he's going to be able to back-to-back -back ice punch me. What I need to do was like just buy more time with uh, with Wish Cash. I think if I get to it, in theory, uh, the second, the if I'm at it and I do a Mud Bomb, uh, I'm at like th uh, 41 energy. Um, I guess technically I need, I need only four more Mud Bombs to to get or mud shots to get to it which is like four turns versus four and a half turns it takes to get the leaf blade but we end up cmp tying anyway so it's uh didn't really work out for me so potentially what i could do if um i want to play with that matchup uh, against shift tree was qsa qsa the mud bomb thinking that it's going to be a blizzard and then and then go for the blizzard afterwards um and then be up be up a shield which is which is an okay situation uh, so obviously i get walled here as well and then i switch out into shift tree hoping to catch something and then i go for the foul plays go for foul play here and and i'm like okay i can survive this ice punch just barely and then oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> I was I was like <laughs> that's that's terrible. I needed that. I needed that to put the shield pressure on. Um yeah, cuz now I'm not going to be in a good situation at all. And I have to let this go through uh just because like this is not going to be very good for me regardless. Uh, I probably should have let the ice punch go through maybe. Um and I switch out into Knocked Owl, hoping to do as much damage as possible. And put the shield. I am able to get the wing attack go to go through. And I'm looking to put as much pressure onto this uh, shift tree as possible. And... I have to shield here, like this is just doing way too much damage. Um, and this is where I, I make a huge mistake. So I'm, I'm, I know I need to sack bronze on. So I think like, I'm like, oh, I should be able to hit the sky attack first and then switch out. But what I didn't notice is that he did the mud shot coming into there, which is why, why I end up getting brutalized there. Because if I would have been able to get the Blizzard into uh, Bronze on, which would probably would have been KO'd, um, I don't know necessarily I would have won uh, still. But what I could have done is I could have switched out, then thrown the Sky Attack uh, back at uh, back at the Wish Cache, and then farm down, and then potentially KO the Shift Tree. He had the opportunity to switch in to the Shift Tree um, at any point in time. No, not he probably still need like. Uh, like a charge move and a half before he could come back with shift tree, but well played. So I'm going to go into Alolan Marowak. It's obviously a very positive 
uh, matchup for me. He switches out into uh, Altaria, so I'm going to fire off this uh, Shadow Ball, and then I'm going to switch to Wigglytuff. And I'm able to KO it before able to get a charge move, so it's pretty, pretty good value for me. Um, and I just noticed I have Dazzling Gleam on my <laughs> Wigglytuff instead of um, uh, what I should be having, which is uh, Play Rough. Goes for Bulldoze, doesn't KO. Should be going for uh, Psy Shock. I'm not sure just because of the moveset he's, he has. He ends up shielding. Uh, Probably needs a shield to survive, or it would put it pretty low. Um, so I'm going to switch out into Shift Tree. Uh, and then I'm going to go for the foul play. And I'm going to immediate, immediately switch out. And man, these charms do a lot of damage while I'm switching in. Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or not. But uh, regardless. And I'm just going to look to fire spin down. And I'm able to take out this uh, Nine Tails. So GG. And let's see. What, what am I going to do? So I lead with Wish Cash. And let's see what's going to happen. It comes with Bronze on. It's obviously another favorable matchup for me. I see that he's not switching out. So I'm going to take advantage and go for the super effective Mud Bomb, which is going to do quite a bit of damage. And he is going for, looks like the Bulldoze. Yeah, the Bulldoze. It should be going for Psy Shock. Um, just because it'll, it's more energy efficient. I'm not sure because he doesn't have Psy Shock on his uh, bronze on. And he switches out into Wish Cash. And I'm going to switch out into Wigglytuff just because it's not a great matchup for me. And at this point in time, I actually realized that he had the wrong move on his Wish Cash. So he goes for Blizzard. So I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. I'm like, he seems to be taking a, quite a while to get to the charge move. So I'm like, is he trying to like double up or something? No, he has Water Pulse. He doesn't have Mud Bomb on his Wish Cash. Definitely needs to TM that. And probably going to come back in with the Bronze on. Uh, at this health, I should be able to KO the Bronze on uh, with Ice Beam, unless he puts up a shield, which he does. Uh, and then easily takes me out. Uh, so let's see here. What am I going to do? I'm going to come back in with Wish Cash, and I'm just barely able to get to this Mud Bomb. I'd be really frustrated if I was him. Just like it looked like it was an easy going to take it out. And then he comes in with a Lola Nine Tails, and I'm in a very good situation right now. Um, able to resist the charms. I'm going to resist all the charge moves from a Lola Nine Tails. I'm going to put up a shield, and that is going to allow me to take out the little and nine tails. GG. And I am going to go into going up against uh, Wild Susan Boyle, a very tough trainer. I don't need to, everyone knows that he's really good, so don't need to say too much. Uh, so this is a pretty even matchup. I think uh, Celio ends up winning this matchup and a QSA, which is kind of a dumb idea because uh, I do generate energy faster than the Celio. Uh, and I'm just going to look to self piggyback, uh, which is what I do. And I think he's going to do the same. So we're basically just firing off uh, four charge moves uh, back to back there. Uh, and he's able to get to to me before uh, before I am because of the QSA. And I, I thought I had it. <laughs> I don't know why I keep fainting to these charge moves. 
Uh, so I come into Knocked Owl. Uh, not a particularly great situation, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking here, but mainly because I could tank these. Uh, so he hits another one before before fainting, and I'm in a pretty good situation right now. And he comes in with knocked all as well, and I'm gonna hit the sky attack. I should have back to back sky attacks right now. Oh no, a little short. And I mean, I can't let this knocked out get lined up with uh, my uh, with my shift tree. So I'm gonna look to burn. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look to burn both shields, which I should be able to beforehand. Um, so hopefully, if he shields here, then I'm gonna immediately switch out into shift tree, uh, and then shield. And then I know I can KO with the foul play. Uh, and then he switches out into uh, Wish Cash to absorb it, um, which is fine by me because he has a water gun version of it. I probably should have did like, I didn't want to get hit by the Mud Bomb. I don't think the Mud Bomb KOs me. Uh, and as well, it take him a little while to get to it. Uh, but I should have did one more just so I could guarantee, or I could have Leaf Bladed there and KO'd. Uh, which I think Leaf Blade does about 25% to Knocked Owl. Let's see. Yeah, it does a little less than 25%. Uh, it does about 23, 22%. Uh, it's definitely within range, so I could have played it out like that, but it's quite right. Um, Do, do, do so knowing I'm gonna lead shift tree uh, into this team and let's see see how we do so he comes in with Celio um, and I'm gonna go for the leaf blade And I know this is just gonna be a body slam, but it's gonna be enough to, to KO me, so. So I go for the Leap Blade again. And then I'm gonna switch out into Wigglytuff just to KO to burn the energy. Uh, banking that he doesn't have a counter. Uh, and he has Wish Cash, so it's, it's okay for me. Um, I don't know how a water gun wish cash does exactly against the, uh, but I should be able to get to the charge move, and then he has to decide whether or not he wants to burn the energy or burn the shield, which he does not, and we're able to take it out after one more charm, and he has knocked owl, so I'm in a decent situation right now, uh, taking quite a bit of his of his health. And I come back in with Shift Tree just because um, I'm going to e either force him to burn his energy or he's going to get KO'd. Uh, and then he ends up undercharging that Sky Attack to hoping to farm me afterwards. But I got to the charge move and this he doesn't shield. And now I can just farm fast move down. Just taking that one. GG. Thanks for the battles. And... Uh, next, I'm going against uh, my New Zealand friend, very prominent trainer in New Zealand. So let's see how this goes. Uh, gonna lead uh, Shift Tree into this Bronzon. Very favorable matchup for me, like one of the most favorable matchups in the meta right now. So it doesn't look like the switch out is happening. So I am gonna go for the foul play. And then here comes the switch out into Altaria. I'm a little slow on the switch out, um, but that's all right. I am going to get hit by the Sky Attack, and I have a pretty decent IV Wigglytuff. Um, so I'm like, maybe this won't KO me, and it doesn't. So I'm in a very good situation right now. I do want to hit this Ice Beam, but I'm very unlikely that I'm going to get to it. 
and this Bronzon is able to come in and KO me. So able to burn the energy, but it's all right. I have maintained switch advantage, and I am going to hit the foul play, which will do a pretty good chunk. Two Bronzon, and I think I let this go. Uh, really kind of dangerous for me to let this go through. Um, just because like if it was like a flash cannon or heavy slam, it probably would have KO'd. And I'm gonna switch out. Oh, okay, I was gonna switch out to knockdown, then I realized I don't need to. Uh, because I have shift tree and the last Pokemon is a wish cache, and I'm able to to take it out. And uh, secure the victory there. Alright. So pretty decent team so far. Um, slight misplays earlier. Um, there, <laughs> the, my team is weaker to Alolan Sandslash now without Alolan Ninetales, but still okay. Like I have Wishcash, I have Alolan Marowak. Um, Bronzon's pretty even uh, with it. So let's see how we do. And uh, uh, another favorable matchup for me. And it comes into Alolan Marowak. And then I'm going to switch out into Noctowl. And then here comes a Shadow Ball. kind of farm a little bit too much I probably would have liked to hit it before this shadow ball uh, and then I don't farm up anymore I guess because I don't think this is gonna KO which is not and I'm able to to take it down and then let's see what comes in next it's gonna be Altaria so I'm gonna look to hit the sky attack and look to hit another one And then I switch out into shift tree, uh, looking to burn the shield. And then as well, uh, oh, the shield doesn't come up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be able to hit another one. And then it's not like this alone nine tails can punish me that much on my bronze on because I do double resist psy shock. And then um, as well, uh, resist. Uh, Yeah, and as well, resist Ice Beam. Actually, Ice Beam would probably do a pretty decent amount. So I'm going to let this go through, thinking it's just Psy Shock, which it is. And then I just need to double Psy Shock this Altaria, because it's already pretty low. And I should be at double Psy Shock range, which I am. And I'm able to, to win this match with this Psy Shock and able to take out the Altaria. So GG. Uh, so what are my thoughts on this team? I think this is a pretty good team. Uh, pretty meta. Um, again, the Alolan Sand Slash kind of messed me up. Uh, just And that was mostly because of the team comps I was running. If obviously I put a little bit more pressure with Alolan Marowak, then it's not that big a deal. It's pretty hard to counter. Uh, but Alolan Sand Slash, despite its double weakness, has a lot of counterplay. Um, a fighter would be pretty nice. Uh, but I'm not too worried about any fighter just because I have... Uh, fairy, I have a ghost type, and as well, I have a psychic type. Uh, and plus, like, uh, I guess besides Heracross, uh, uh, Wishcash does pretty even, pretty neutral to them. So, uh, pretty, pretty decent team. Let me know uh, if there are any other Team 6 that you want me to give a shot, and I will see everyone in the next video.